Hello everybody, welcome to my single player world. Morilibus here. And you, of course, are not Morilibus, but you are other people. Hello other people. Um, I noticed last time I was here, I wasn't getting any more iron. I was trying to figure out where the problem was, and I just found it. Uh, this, there was no ice here, and I think it might have melted... What's our block light? Well, we're in the water, so that's not going to really give us an accurate reading, is it? Let's just put that back, and maybe we'll go through here. It might be that... Mm. Oh! Mm. Let's go through here, and through there, and it might be this stuff. That is too close. Twelve... No! That shouldn't be melting that. It might have been me temporarily lighting something up that caused it to melt. I'm not sure. Or do I have like a lamp somewhere that lights up? Like one of those guys from the elevator? Or this guy? But anyway. Oh! <laughs> I just logged in, so I haven't really been on here since I think I recorded the last episode. Okay, well. Anyway, I will monitor that and see if it happens again, I guess, and then... Uh, no. You go... Oh. Come back. Come back. You go... Oh, no, that's glass. Oh. You do go there. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Forgive me, sir. And that. And that. But yeah, there's a bit of... Well, you just saw. I put it away. Bit of stuff right there. Anyway. Fixed. Fixed! Problem solved. Hopefully it doesn't melt again. If it does, I'll look into it further. So today we're going to go back outside the city a bit. I want to look at a few things and a few ideas. Oh, I forgot to stop my timer. Or have I? Um, one second. There we go! And apparently I had two Minecrafts open for whatever reason. Probably because I'm pro. Pro like that. Okay, I want to get... Let's see. Let's try something out. We're going to work on a couple things today, hopefully, if we have time. It's going to be a... Just a straight-through episode. Hopefully not too many cuts, but maybe some. Oh, yeah, last episode we had run out of oak wood, so that's kind of where we were at. So I stopped, and I farmed a bunch, and actually I found some, too. There was some just actually stored. Uh, right where we were working. So right through here... Over the hills and through the woods. Oh, and I planted a bunch of oak here instead of the spruce. Which actually worked quite well. It's a good spread out. Uh, there's a piece of string missing. I think right where that large tree is. How convenient. Oh well. <laughs> Not a problem. Oh, I think I mined some vines too for the sake of it. Anyway. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of oak wood in here. You can see it. So, I wasn't really out of oak wood. Alright, so we were working on the bridge. Um, I don't know. I might have done a bit of work. I think I changed it all to the spruce on this side so we could get a better look at it. So let's do that. And I think I replaced most of the stone brick with the wood, except I left... I know we were, I was struggling with what to put here, so I ended up putting the stone slabs back, and I left a stone slab on top of the lamp as well, or each pillar... So I think we'll leave it like that. We had some suggestions. I think something about an overhang, but I didn't quite understand what you meant by that. But I think the idea was to kind of transition from the wall to the slabs by using some kind of barrier almost. Something else here that we could use to transition. But I don't know. I think we might leave it like this. We also were talking about what we could do to prevent mobs from um, coming in. Here's a great... Oops. You just heard Vex. I was watching a Vex video. Copyright. I'm sorry, Vex. <laughs> I'll probably cut that out. You won't even know. All right, I'm just actually going to load up the comments from the previous video so I can see what all you lovely people had to say. All right. Uh, da 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 Okay, one thing that was said, I haven't found the comment yet, but create like a moat or something. So we're talking about how we're going to prevent mobs from coming into the, the village, specifically zombies that can track for 17 miles. 
Um, someone asked why I wasn't regenerating. We are using a, or we disabled natural regen in my single player world, just to add some challenge to it and give it a little bit more of difference to the Olympus server. Um, someone said sticky pistons to retract to the sides so that zombies couldn't come in. That I didn't quite understand, unless they meant like we could have pistons under here or something that push out a block so that while the block is there you can walk over and then if the pistons retract at like night time there would just be a gap and you'd fall down. So that's possible. And I was actually going to, if that was their idea, I don't know if I understood properly. Um, I think that covers most of the comments that I can see. But yeah. But what I was thinking is actually maybe using trapdoors instead. So what if we got rid of this? Now this will mess up what's underneath um, the bridge here, but we can change that. Oh yeah, I don't have jump boost here. I was just playing on Olympus, so I'm kind of in my thinking that I have everything I have in Olympus mode. Okay, so I'd probably get rid of all this, I guess. And put solid blocks. And then we could put trap doors right there. So mobs will be able to walk over that, and we'd be able to walk over that. And it kind of looks decent. I'd probably make it go all the way. And we could have that hooked up to redstone, so when nighttime comes, these would open up. And then hopefully mobs would fall down. <laughs> I'd have to make sure that they actually do. We might have to make it like too wide or something. So we'd have... I guess I'd have to get rid of that too. We'd have to have... Maybe some more there just to ensure. It would be nice if they were flush, but because I went with slabs, I don't. we can't really do that. I mean, I could put them on the slabs to make them a bit higher, but then I don't know... I can't really power them, can I? You can't power the slab, as far as I know. So that's probably not doable, even though that does look slightly better if they're on the slabs. So yeah, I think I'll experiment with just the single row first off to see if that will work. And if we run into problems, then ooh, then we'll switch. Where'd all that stuff go? We'll switch over to a double wide one. Or maybe I'll put the trap doors on this side. Because what I'm thinking might happen. And of course, we'd do something else. So if we did this, I'd probably remove this center part and then modify the wall in this section. And we would make sort of like a moat, or we'd make some kind of killing chamber so that anything that fell down here would pretty much die. And I'd probably do it with just drowning, I think, a drowning trap. So I don't think I will put a moat around like the whole village or anything like that. I like the idea of just having a little like river kind of running through here. But what we'd probably do is put a water trap down there. So if they do fall down there, they'll get drowned so that they're not like pathfinding and mucking things up. I think that's a good idea, and it doesn't look too bad. I don't know. I don't think the zombies or anything would actually pathfind over this, because I think they see that as being basically a full block, so they don't see this as being a path they could take. I think. Don't know for sure, but I think that might be the way to go. Looks kind of cool. The only thing I'm thinking is, if they fall, if they do just what I just did, right? If they just walk forward, you still get up. So I might need to put them on this side instead which might work out eh, it'd be more annoying because I'd have to hide redstone on this side and be a lot easier to hide redstone over there but I think they would be able to skip it like we just like I just did we could try I guess it's almost night time oh well there I sprinted across but that's kind of a one way and then I fall so let's try whoops Maybe we'll put that side like that, and I'll put this side the opposite. And I'll go get some zombies to follow me over here. And we'll see if they can get up, or if they can follow me in. Because they will pathfind over the trapdoors, as far as I'm aware. That still works. They see it as a full block, so they'll just walk right over it. 
And I'm not regening, right? I'll have to go back to the cathedral. I have a regen beacon in the center of the village, and that's kind of what I'm going to be using. I am on hard. I don't typically change this, so it shouldn't ever change. Come on, zombies. It's nighttime. Oh, yeah, fireworks, too, should be coming up momentarily. How many will we get? So far, we've gone two. Here's a couple zombies. Ooh, guy in chain, too. I'm going to murder your face. Although, I think I have chain, actually, from the blacksmith before he died. My good blacksmith. We do have blacksmiths now, again. I just haven't unlocked anything. It's Olympus where I need chain. Come on, guys. It's a party. Okay, what am I going to do here? Um, how can I test both? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hurry up. Do I have to go get a speed potion for you? Is the other guy coming too? Well, maybe we'll leave the other guy if he doesn't come. Okay, so here... Well, there I know he's going to fall. I'm pretty sure he's going to fall. Let's get rid of that so he doesn't try to go that way. And he will fall down. Yeah, okay. No surprise. Good, Good job, guy. You want to come back up? Are you going all the way around? All right. Well, while he's doing that, let's just switch these around. Oh, he's coming back. Quickly! Quickly! Okay, should path find back up, I think. No? Oh, trapdoor in the way? You might see that as a block, and then that's blocking his path, so what if I do that? Or can you not even get up here? Come on, guy. Yep. Don't touch me. No touchy. Doo -doo. Yeah, okay. So that will not work. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, let's go sleep. That has been decided that we can't have him on this side... We would have to have them on the opposite side. And in terms of powering them, let's look at that maybe quickly, and then we'll move on to building, or starting to build the little place for our horses, or stables. I didn't hear the fireworks go off, did you guys? Nor did I see it go off. Maybe it did. Maybe we were just too far out, and I had my back to it. Or maybe you guys saw it, and I missed it. When I record, I am fairly oblivious to anything going around. Anything going around? Anything going on around me? Those are the words I would like to use. Oh, baby. I don't like babies. Okay, so. We'd have to have that powered. Oh, we could hide wiring, I guess, right under here. So to power that... I mean, we could simply... Oops. We could simply have redstone there and a repeater there pointing into this block. So that could work. So I'll probably just strip up the floor here to lay this wiring out. We could maybe even do that today if we're really, really quick. And then we just have to hook it up to a light center sensor. Where are you guys? Why don't you just die? Huh? Yeah. Nobody likes you. Not even your mom. Oh, ah, spider. Okay, I'm pretty sure helmets lose durability now. So if we leave this guy out, he will die in the sun. If you wait long enough. <laughs> While he's in the sun, his helmet should be losing a little bit of durability. So let's see if we can test that out, too. Uh... Now that worked out well. He's in the hole! Okay, we should be close enough that he won't despawn, I think. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So we'll go back there and see if he dies. And we'll probably see his flesh anyway. As long as we don't wait too long. I don't want to sit here and watch him. Unless I skip the video. Maybe we'll skip ahead. Ah! There it goes. 
So yeah, I, I remember that being, I thought it was added. I can't remember when it was added or if it was something that was being considered adding. But yeah, I tested it out on my own too a while ago. Just wanted to show you guys in case you did, weren't aware. So yeah, they will die, even if they have helmets on. So the only way to really prevent them from dying in the sun is to give them something that doesn't have durability like a pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, I gotta start up my timer again, because I stopped it for that, because I'm gonna speed up that little transition. And it was Stefan F, if I'm saying your name correctly, who mentioned the moat and having the zombies fall into a ditch and stuff. So that's kind of his idea is kind of what I'm go going with. I'm kind of I'm not sure exactly how he meant it, but this is kind of my take on it. So thank you for that. That's a good idea. Um, so, um, yeah, let's see if we can hook this up real quick. Why not? Hmm? Hmm, let's just strip this up. So we can put down some redstone. And then we'll put it back down. I have to modify the bridge here a little bit. And I'll probably enclose the redstone so it's not visible. And then I might try to pretty it up down below. I don't know. We'll see. I'll do that on my own. If I want to change the aesthetics a bit, let's just get function for right now. No. No. <laughs> oh, I actually caught it. Swish. All right. And uh, what else was mentioned or is worth mentioning? I don't know. Anything? Nothing? Okay, there isn't really going to be one there, but that doesn't matter. All right, let's get some redstone. How long is this? Two, three, four. Can't count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, fifteen. No, fourteen, because the middle one doesn't have one. So we need fourteen repeaters, but I'll probably just get a bunch of them just to be safe. And we'll get some regen while we're here. I think it reaches halfway into the storage room where you. I can't remember how far it goes, actually. It used to reach up to about here, but that was before they increased it from 40 to 50, I think. Hmm. Anyway. We got lots of repeaters from modifying our ender farm, because it used to use a lot of repeaters, and now it does not. And now I need some redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll give us a stack. And, oh, we even have a daylight sensor. Look at that. My inventory, guys. My inventory. Okay, let's just throw that on the ground for a second. And let's throw that oak wood in my ender chest. Looks like I have some other things in there too. Uh, stack of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. Alright, good to go. Pick that up without picking up the flesh. Ah, uh, torches. We might need some torches. I don't know if I have to invert or not. Wow. Oh, there they are. Okay. We're good. Hopefully, it's taken up probably a lot of time. <laughs> Let me know if you like these, like, one-cut episodes. The reason I'm kind of doing them is for time. Because I find it harder to record here in my single player. Because most of my grinding is all done on Olympus. So I tend not to want to do it here as well. Okay, so that would work. Uh, we could have also... How else could we have done it? We could have powered these blocks for, with torches from down below, but... Um, give me that back. But I don't think that would have been any better, really. Oh! Come in! Good. Good. We'll put it all the way, even though it's not really necessary. Okay. Let's get some redstone. More than five on our bar would be nice. Now, where should we hide the light beacon? I think I'll just put it off to the side here for now. Um, <laughs> I really need my jump boost. Give me my jump boost. I gotta get some more beacons going. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna throw it over here. Just, to, oops. <laughs> and throw those on the floor. Yeah, I'll just throw it down here somewhere, and we'll move it for sure later on. Let's see. 
That is that, so why don't we do this, get a torch. Um, yeah, if, I, if I do that, it should. Okay, so that makes them open. That makes them close. Okay. And we'll just simply take a signal off here, put the light beacon down. What is it called? Daylight sensor. And it will give off a signal, and that will keep them closed. And then when nighttime comes, that should close them. So we'll test that out once it's time. And while that's going on, and yeah, we'll move that and hide it somewhere. But for now, that's stuff I will do off camera, kind of like finalizing. I think what it's kind of what I'd like to do is get get the ideas down and started with you guys, and then I'll polish them off like I did with the bridge. I'll work on that on my own. And then the following episode, you can kind of see what was done. Okay, so let's cover this back up. I was mostly just doing kind of random. So I didn't want it all to be stone or brick. But I didn't really want it to be a pattern either, so... Oh, I think it's getting nighttime. Yes! Perfect! And yeah, I'd bl I'll cover this redstone in probably from down below too, so I'll probably put a block there so that you can't see it. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Thanks. Thanks, blocks. And... good. Alright, so nighttime comes. That should fall. The next step, of course, will be putting a trap down there to actually kill them. <laughs> and I'll probably do that on my own as well. But that should work. Let's wait for our fireworks. Come in, fireworks. While we're waiting for fireworks, we're going to have to sleep, I guess. We're going to lay out our our place over here. So I did put... I think I showed you this, did I not? I did build up this ground. Maybe I didn't. Did I? I don't know. Anyway, I built up the earth here, tried to make it look semi-natural. And I think the stables are going to go right off to the side somewhere around here. And I might need to grab a bit more dirt to level that out. Come on, fireworks! It usually happens kind of right as the sun is going down. Well, it's still a little bit of pink, I think. So I think it'll go off before I have time to sleep. Do it. Thank you. Oh, two! Cool. No three. No threes. One day. Hopefully, we'll catch it on camera. Alright. So I'm pretty sure I have dirt out there already. And we had the oak, so we're going to mainly use oak wood, I think, for this. And I'll grab... I think I have some in my inner chest too, but I'll just grab some out of here. Why not? I don't need stone anything, I don't think. Might add some stone into it later, I don't know. And the redstone, I guess I'll just throw in there. And I'll probably forget about it. So it'll be in there forever. Don't need those, just want that. And maybe we'll turn that into some planks. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see if this worked. <laughs> Man, well, we could mimic. What if we just go... If I just cover this directly, will that stop it? Or does it get light off the sides as well? <laughs> Turn off! Wow. Still going. Still going. Still on. You're magical, man. <laughs> okay, anyway. Next night, we'll see. I'm sure there'll be another night by the end of this. Alright, so I think I need to build this up a little bit more, maybe? I don't know, or should I level this out? It should probably be the same level as this. And i got to figure out how to transition from that to this as well. So we'll have to think about that. Not sure. It's a problem with the slabs, I guess. 
maybe I could put full blocks here with the same blocks. So it just looks like it steps up a bit. But let's see what we can do. I have no plan here, guys. This is planless. I want to try to get the layout, though, of the of the little horse stables. Okay, so what I the idea is just to have a little shack. Um, and let's just start here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so a little house. There'll be a door. We'll say the door is right there. And outside, I want to have like a chest just with um, some saddles and leashes and stuff like that. So you walk in, there's the house. It's not going to be that big. So it will probably be bigger than this, though. Maybe like that will be the edge wall. And then something like there would be the back wall. So let's just try to figure out the foundation of everything. Okay, so that, that. We'll have that there. Well, maybe the house will wrap around a little bit. I don't know. Maybe like that. So what if we had... What if we put another door here where you walk through? And right there, there's going to be... Well, I did get these chests for a reason. So there I want the chests. And yeah, door roughly here. We'll probably modify it a bit. And there will be things, but also maybe from inside you can get outside into the horse area independently. So in, this would be the inside of the house here that I've kind of marked out. Mm, yeah. And then you can come through here and that will enter into the stable area. So from here we want to have... Let's see here. We want to have a horse... one little horse stall that's easy to get at. And then we also want to have it open up into some other area that away. I should have got some fences. Let's make some fences real quick. Stickies. Eh. Okay. So let's see here. So maybe from there or let's get our axe out. Maybe actually from here. So we'd have that open that would go into the field area where there'd be other horses. Hmm, I'm starting to think I should probably raise this up by one. I'm not too sure. I think so. I think we'll raise everything up by one. Just so I don't have to terraform as much. And maybe we'll have a little... Um, it could step up. We could have a porch here instead. So it would step up to a porch to get the one block higher. And then same with this. Maybe would be higher up, or I could just bring this back up instead of taking it out like I just did. Okay, so we could have a balcony or a little porch that steps up, and maybe it steps up here too. And then that would be the main entrance into the stalls. So we'd have, let's just see here, um, something like that. Nothing too, too big, I guess. We might turn this into, the fields into some more horse area. Get rid of some of this landscape. We can maybe even have it slightly dug into this hill. So there's the house. And then over here on this side, we're going to have the stalls. There'll be other stalls for various horses. And we're just going to have a little bit of an overhang, I think. Think so. It'll be something like let's say maybe we'll give them three, and we'll probably use like the hay bales and stuff like that for decoration. So we could have one stall, two stall, and I probably want more than maybe like four stalls. We could expand on that, and that's mostly just going to be. Oops. Something like that. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm going to play with the design. And we'll show it to you probably next episode and what I come up with. And then from here, I'm thinking we'll have a sloped roof. roof, roof. So from the back side, 
Do we have any stairs? Maybe I can make some stairs. It's kind of a, I feel kind of rushed. Does it feel like I'm rushed? Because I feel like I'm rushed. I'm looking at that timer. I'm like running out of time, running out of time. There's no time to do anything. I don't have enough time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But yeah, <laughs> um, I might use slabs as well to make less of a slope. But um, for right now, let's see what this looks like. It's probably too steep. I think so. Yeah. But the sloped roof will go over top of where the horses are, but then it'll stop kind of part way out. So yeah, this is way too steep. So it'll stop somewhere about there. Hmm. Yeah, way too steep. So we can cut that down in half if I use slabs. So that it would only come up to about um, here instead, I think, roughly. So slope maybe like that. I can even do like two slabs up a block or two slabs, that kind of deal. Or I'll probably use stairs. Although out here we're not going to be too concerned with spawning because it's outside the city anyway. And I'm not going to be lighting up the whole surrounding area. And we'll probably make this look very muddy. Maybe we could use... Um, trying to think. Uh, tilled soil, I think I remember seeing like some of the Minecrackers use to represent mud back before they did the server reset, so that might be an idea. So yeah, we'll have a little overhang with a few little stalls for horses. I'll have to move this back for however many stalls I choose. And then I want a little place just to quickly throw one horse. Maybe I'll put it right, right here where this is. Excuse me. So I might build that up and maybe we'll have a horse stall here somewhere that we can quickly park our horse in somewhere in this area. Uh, uh, probably entering from this way. Leave the horse, come out. We'll see what we can do for a, a horse door. I'll have to think of a design I want to use. I'm sure there's a bunch out there, but I'll try to see what I can come up with. And yeah, that's about it. So, hmm. Didn't really do much. <laughs> but we got it started. We got it started. Um, I may work on it a bit here and we'll see. Last, we're going to just wait for the sun to go down and I want to see if those trap doors work and maybe we'll get a mob to follow us if we can and let me think about in terms of how this house is going to look too. I'm not positive. I don't have anything in mind so I'm going to probably wing it but it's probably going to be a rustic looking house with the oak stuff. I do believe. Um, I'll probably just make that guy, the four corners, I think, out of the oak. Good. And I think I said I was going to bring it up anyway. We'll see how high. Okay. Should be close enough, I think. I might throw a couple torches down here <laughs> just, for the, just for the time being. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to have to call it here. So let's go see if our little trapdoor moat gate thing works. Now spiders can still get in, but that's fine. And I mean, we can just sprint over top of it without even worrying about it. Oh, except there I fell. I lied. So, how are we doing? Are you decaying? I can't tell. Decay. Decay faster. I don't think we'll get a mob in time. Anybody? Anybody around? Come on, gates. Perfect. Nighttime. You fall down. Unless you're a player and sprinting. Cool. I think that works. And yeah. Dig that out some more. Put in the water trap. And I'll just probably have water current going this way. So it'll pull them forward. And it will put water in their head. And they will drown. Woo! All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.